started in 1917 with my great-grandparents. They did it all by themselves. They were amazing, hard workers who just inspire all of us every day. This hotel and restaurant means a lot to me. This is our legacy. This is where I grew up. I have been working in the restaurant from the time I was tall enough to reach the kitchen sink. Our operation is now the longest ongoing restaurant operation ever in the history of Hawaii. And that's something that we're very, very proud of. This is a very close-knit community from the time I was a kid. And without their support, we would not be here today. Our menu is pretty straightforward and standard. We have our entrees that get served with okazu, so everything is family style. You get side dishes and it's, you just come together and you share everything. We also have a variety of fishes on the menu. We have some fresh fish that actually my fiance sometimes catches and it'll go straight from the boat to the table. Yeah, 15, 20 minutes. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Two mahi-mahi dinner size. We're very well known for our pork chop. Something super simple, but it's just good comfort food that just reminds you of home. <laughs> I say Monaco Hotel is an America's classic just because we've been around for a very long time, over 100 years, and we have not changed all that much. <laughs> I think our community really wants to keep all of these family-owned businesses around just because without it, you kind of lose the feeling of the Kona community. And we never want that to change. The James Beard recognition has been significant. And we're very, very proud and happy to have received it. The people who really deserve this award are no longer living. And that's my grandparents and my parents. If my father was here today, his chest would be just puffed out and he'd just be beaming with pride right now. My grandparents, my great-grandparents, my parents, they're all so proud of this award because of how much hard work has gone into this. And really, they deserve this so much for everything that they've done.